Hey guys, it's me, Carrie. I know this light sucks, but it's the evening time, and um, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how lighting works and good places to shoot at different times of day and different light settings. But um, anyway, this is just going to be a really quick video, hopefully. Um, just touching base with you guys on some stuff in my life. Um, some of you may have seen my video back in August where I mentioned um, that I am currently on a weight loss journey and trying to get into better shape. Um, I'm happy to say that back then I was weighing in at, I believe, 175 pounds. I'm thinking that's where I was at. And as of a couple days ago, I was down to 164. So that is, yes, only 11 pounds weight loss over the course of about three months. Let's say September, October, yeah, three months. But I'm really, really happy with that because I'm not dieting. I'm just trying to make better food choices. And pretty much every single day I have gone on either a 30-minute walk outside or um, walked on my treadmill for 30 minutes. I mean, I've missed a couple of days when I've been like dealing with particularly awful depression issues or um, just under the weather and just not up to it. But I mean... I would guess in the past three months there have been maybe five days tops that I've skipped the walking. So I'm really proud of myself because I'm not known for sticking to things. So um, so that's a really good thing. And um, those of you who also may know of my um, lifelong depression, um, that's been a battle I've been facing. And um, obviously I have ups and downs and better days and worse days with that. But um Recently, thanks to a dear friend, Jennifer, who I've known since I was probably five years old. I'm thinking that we met in kindergarten, more than likely. Um, she is actually a social worker in Connecticut, and she saw me having a particularly rough day where I was posting a lot publicly on my Facebook page. I was really kind of in crisis and dealing with a lot of really dark issues and dark just stuff going on in my head and she reached out to me and took the initiative on her own to try to find a therapist for me um, through her connections you know with, with her job that is willing to take Medicaid because um, that has been my struggle I have not been able to find anyone even though there are Medicaid listed providers on the website for my particular type of Medicaid that I have um, I've called them on several occasions, my husband's called them on several occasions, and no one ever returned our calls. And we always disclose that we do have Medicaid because we figured, why beat around the bush? You know, it's not worth getting a call back and having someone say, yeah, we'd love to see you. Oh, wait, you're on Medicaid? No, sorry, we don't have any openings. So, um, yeah, so that really sucked. But um, thanks to dear Jennifer, she found three names and... Um, I, the first name on the list, she actually also attached um, in the email she sent me um, links to either their Psychology Today profiles or other information where I could read a little bit more about what they specialized in. And the very first person on the name um, happened to be named Hillary, which struck a chord with me right away. So I was like, ooh, you know, I, I think I, I may have a good vibe about this chick. And um I was too scared to make the initial call to make the appointment, but my husband, Brian, who is amazing, did that and set up an appointment for me. And um, I, just about an hour ago, had my first therapy session in about 17 years. Um, I have been in and out of therapy since I'm about seven years old, but um, at the time I stopped, which was 1999, um, my therapist and I mutually agreed that she thought and I thought I was at a good place where I, you know, could stop treatment for a while and um, life happened, circumstances happened, job losses, insurance losses, ups, downs, a move to Florida, a move back to New York, yada, yada, yada. A lot of shit happened and um, I was never able to get into therapy. So the fact that I, thanks to my dear Jennifer, who is such an angel, I love you so much. If by any chance you're watching this, I may mean, always have adored you. But man, you've got a special place in my heart now, girlfriend. You have no idea. Um, but anyway, met Hillary today, had my first session. I think she's fantastic. Um, we're roughly the same age range. So like we really like things were copacetic right from the start. I was so terrified to go in. And my husband actually drove with me and sat in the waiting room and everything. He's so awesome. But I really felt a good vibe with her right away. Like, I just, I think that it's going to work out really, really well. So, you know, knock on wood that, you know, 
circumstances in the United States. Uh, I won't get into it any further than that. Won't cost me my mental health care because it's something that I've been needing for years and didn't have for years and I'm so grateful to have back now. So, um, yeah, good positive changes. Keeping up with the with the exercise, with trying to improve my eating habits, um, getting back into therapy, taking my meds. Um, I think I mentioned in a past video that I'm now on an anti-anxiety med as well as an antidepressant. So I take the um, I take Pristique in the morning, which um, thankfully I get for free through Pfizer directly because of our financial circumstances. And knock on wood, that will continue for 2017 because it's a lifeline for me truly. And um, I take generic Clonopin, which is an anti-anxiety med that helps with that and also with my severe issues with sleeping. I have awful insomnia and I take that in the evening and that's helping a lot. So lots of good stuff going on in my world. Um, I'm cautiously optimistic in spite of the results of the recent election, um, which I don't want to get too deeply involved in that, but suffice it to say, the fact that my therapist's name is Hillary is something that I absolutely love and adore, and it gives me great feelings. So I just felt like that was a cosmic sign that this was going to be a good fit. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say about the outcome of the election and my feelings on that. But um, basically, that's not what this is about. This is about just updating you guys on how things stand in my life and what, you know, what's been going on. Um, I'm actually really proud of myself. I'm, I'm, I have the most wonderful husband, a great supportive mom most of the time. Um, amazing friends, um, both near and far, some that I've met in person, some that I've only connected with through social media and, um, uh, you know, emails, telephone, things like that. But, um, I don't know. I'm just, I feel like I'm relatively speaking in a good place right now and I don't want to lose that feeling. That's always my biggest concern when I start to feel somewhat good is that, you know, that, that, that feeling, it's like when your days are numbered, like that, that feeling is going to not last very long. So hold on just a second. My mother's loudly coming in the door. Okay. Sorry guys. Kind of got my train of thought derailed a little bit, but, um, anyway, yeah. So timing is everything, but, um, yeah. So I just wanted you guys to know what was going on with me and, um, here are the good, the, the good news and the positive changes. And, um, you know, I'll see Hillary again next Thursday, and I anticipate, hopefully, that we're going to have a really good working relationship. Um, the idea of a therapist that you can actually text, it, like, amazes me, because, like I said, it's been 17 years for me, way before the, the era of cell phones and text messaging and all that. So the idea that, like, she's actually my therapist, even when I'm not sitting with her for 45 minutes in a session that I can reach out at other times if I need to. Um, it just blows me away. I feel like, you know, Marty McFly, like in a different era and back to the future. It's just, you know, but opposite, you know, <laughs> it's just, it's kind of cool. So anyway, um, I know I said this is going to be really short. The next video is going to be really short because I'm just going to be unboxing, um, a little treat that I bought for myself at Target, but I thought I deserved a little something today. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, so that's where we are. Um, I just really wanted to share that with you because I know some of you have been following my journey and some of you can relate to the depression, the anxiety, and the struggling with weight and health. So I um, just wanted you to know the good things that are going on. There's hope. There's always, always hope in spite of, you know, everything pointing to the contrary. You know, as long as you're still alive and breathing, there's hope. So thank you for watching, you guys. I love you so much. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That was attractive right in front of my nose. But anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you really soon. Bye.